Now, I understand that Manchester United is having their preseason tour in America. We launched our new kids. The board finally looks like it's making sense. We've signed new players. Everything seems to be going well for Manchester United. Well, lo and behold, going well and Manchester United do not go together. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I have news for you. Four Manchester United players have been injured in this preseason. Four. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Football with Priscilla. I am Priscilla, obviously. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And ladies and gentlemen, we are finally in the month of August. That means we are a few days until the Premier League 2024-2025 season opens. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I just want us to talk about everything Manchester United related and the fact that Manchester United are under a curse that we simply cannot get rid of. But before we get into the video for today, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe and do turn your notifications on ladies and gentlemen to know when next i post a video now guys ouch <laughs> sorry <laughs> now i understand that manchester united is having their preseason tour in america we launched our new kids the board finally looks like it's making sense we've signed new players everything seems to be going well for manchester united well lo and behold going well and manchester united do not go together because ladies and gentlemen i have news for you four manchester united players have been injured in this pre-season four and i'm like how like how are we having players getting injured and these players include lenny yoro who's out for three months with a foot injury and that is our new signing okay he's a new signing that's supposed to be a defender that's supposed to an 18 year old wonder kid apparently he's supposed to be the next veran he's out for three months our new signing is out for three months and we have rasmus hoyland ladies and gentlemen who's out for six weeks with a hamstring injury you cannot make this up you cannot simply make this up we have marcus rashford who was apparently subbed off this is the Betis game. Apparently, he was hurt and feeling a knock. And then we have Anthony as well, who was subbed off hurt versus Betis. The game versus Betis. Now, what is the likelihood, ladies and gentlemen, that Manchester United would go on pre-season tour and we would have four players injured? Let's just sit and talk about this. Because when I read this news, I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Where is the problem? Is it the playing style? Is it that we're pressing too much? Is it the boots? Is it the pitch in America? What is the problem? Is it that the players are not yet fit? Because we can't lie, that's not the players. Because Lenny Yoro came from, I've forgotten which, which club he was playing at, and recently came to Manchester United, and he's also food. Is it the medical staff that don't know what to do? Where exactly is the problem? Because... I'm sorry, last season, we had a whole squad injured, okay? We kept on bringing back players and they kept on going away. Thank God, Martinez, Bruno Fernandes, I think Dalot, Alejandro Ganacho, all these players are not on tour because, oh my gosh, if they were on tour with us, they'd be injured. Like, what exactly is the problem? How exactly are we having four injuries in pre-season tour? It's not the Premier League. It's not the Community Shield. It is a preseason game. Like Eric Ten Hag, do you not understand that this is preseason? You can literally play the young players. I know you want to play the players back into fitness. I understand. But what type of intensity is Manchester United playing with that we have four players injured? Four. And the season... Oh my gosh, Lenny Yoro is going to miss August, September, October. I'm going to come back in November. Then what is the point? And I'm not hearing shouts about Delit getting close. Or who's the other guy that they wanted to get? The bread white guy from Everton. Four players. Do you people actually understand how ridiculous it is that we're starting our season with four players, one of which is three months injured? We have a player in Rasmus who has a hamstring, which, by the way, Rasmus was already injured last season, okay? He was injured and he had to get back. Again, first part of the season, he's injured again. It's either these new crops of players don't know how to take care of themselves or there's a problem with our medical staff because it can't be a coincidence. It is not just a coincidence. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's 
worrying for me. So now if you're a Martinez, you're receiving this news and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to partner with Harry Maguire. Potential Linda Lindelof if he's not sold. That's all. And we don't even know if Martinez after that injury has become injury prone. So I'm sorry, but I am scared for next season. I'm already scared because if we're already getting injuries like this, it is not a good sign, guys. It is not a good sign. Unless maybe we're getting out the negativity before the preseason starts, then good. But ladies and gentlemen, I am scared. Whatever Paul Pogba allegedly, allegedly, um, buried at Old Trafford on the center. Ladies and gentlemen, we need prayers, okay? We need to go to Old Trafford, stand at that center, pray, and remove everything that was uh, buried there because this is worrisome. This is absolutely worrisome. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted us to talk about the injuries because for me, when I saw that news, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. The other thing I want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that apparently on this preseason tour, which I haven't been watching any of the games, if you're a Zambian citizen, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And obviously, like, I'm not about to start waking up at three for the Real Betis game. No. Preseason tour games, I don't really follow them that much because I know that we're not getting any points. It doesn't count for anything, really, even though people have been having meltdowns, left, right, etc. But anyway, apparently... Ahmad Diallo has been having a preseason tour of his life. He's been carrying the team. Every time I read Twitter to check up on Manchester United updates, it's Ahmad this, Ahmad that, Ahmad is making the right calls, Ahmad is scoring the right goals. Like, oh my gosh, good for you, Ahmad. Now, the question is when Alejandro Ganacho comes back, when Anthony is fit, when we have now a Sancho, we have a Marcus Rashford, we have a Xerxes, we have a Rasmus Hoyland. We have like six forward players. Who have I left out? So we have Ahmad, we have Anthony, we have Sancho, we have Rashi, we have Xerxes, we have Garnacho, and we have Rasmus Hoyland. We have seven forward players. It's going to be interesting seeing how Eric Ten Hag is going to be juggling these seven when the season opens because there's no way Rashi is leaving. Sancho doesn't want to go anywhere, which I don't know. Anyway, we have Anthony, who I don't think is going anywhere. Ahmad, who's uh, tearing it up, so obviously they're not going to sell him. Garacho is not on the sale list. Rasmus is injured, and we have a Xerxes who's new, so everyone wants to see Xerxes play. So it's going to be interesting seeing how Eric Ten Hag is going to play with these seven players. Like the dynamic is going to be interesting. But the question has been: Should Ahmad be given chance to start, even when uh, the likes of Garacho come in, even when we have a Sancho, even when we have a Xerxes? Like has Ahmad Diallo? earn the right to be a starter for Manchester United and until he's, he falls off should he be starting and then we should bring in the Garnacho or oh, Garnacho is an absolute like starter no matter what what do you guys think with regards to Ahmad but hey apparently he's been killing it and congratulations to him um he's trying to bring his uh he's trying to show the coach that he can do it and it's good for him and you know what it's good that we have competition so Listen, I think if Ahmad is tearing it up and he's already worked his way into the, the the groove of next season, I think start him. If he falls off, then we can tweak it up and put Sancho. For me, Sancho needs to be on the bench, okay? After what he did, how he performed, I know he apologized and let bygones be bygones. Yes, I mean, I agree, but no, I would bench him, okay? I'll bench him for some time just to show him like, bruh. I'm in charge. So listen, it's going to be a whole interesting dynamic when the whole season starts. But yeah, so we're looking forward to obviously the community shield. That will be coming soon. Uh, we're looking forward to the lineup. But for now, congratulations to you, Amadiallo. I also want to talk about the fact that apparently Fulham really want to get Scott McTominay. And listen, my problem is this. Manchester United, I've been saying this, we still, we seriously need a midfielder, a holding midfielder is a must for us. And I'm not hearing a lot of shouts for a holding midfielder as well as a left center back. Like these two are worrying me. Are we getting a left center back anytime soon? Are we getting a CDM anytime soon? Because Casemiro is not going to cut it for us. I'm sorry. We need a player that's able to cover so that, so that they can allow players like Kobe Mino, Mason Mount, Bruno Fernandes to be free. Okay, so this whole Scott McTominay thing is not moving me. Like, 
I understand we need to sell players in order to buy players. And there's this whole thing about Manchester United saying, oh, Fuham is not giving us what we are asking for. I get that. But I really, I don't know where Enos is going to find the money. But if we don't sell players, we still need to find a way in which we're going to buy a CDM. Because we actually need, we really need a focal point. We really need a CDM for that team to tick. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen, we have Aaron Wan Bissaka to West Ham. Now, listen, I understand that Manchester United need to sell in order to buy, but my biggest worry, okay, if we let Aaron Wan Bissaka go, then we have Dalot there alone as our only right sided um, fullback. My thing is, what happens when Dalot gets injured? I know the whole lot of last season, Dalot held himself down, he was playing on the left, he was playing on the right, but we can't. We can't depend on the fact that last season he was fit. He's going to be fit today. For me, personally, I know I said I would sell Aaron Wan bissaka but my biggest worry is not the right. My biggest worry is Malaysia and Luke Shaw, who are, oh my gosh, injury pro. Like, I understand we need to sell to buy, but listen, I'm kind of hurt that Aaron Wan bissaka will leave. I think he covers Dalot well. I think he does a good job there locking um, wingers that run at Manchester United. So it's really going like I'm and I'm, I'm at a place where I'm like I get why they want to sell Aaron Wan Bissaka, but I wouldn't mind keeping Aaron Wan Bissaka. So I'm in between. But for me, it's like I really want us to buy a left fullback and a CDM. Like these are my biggest worries. I get the sell buy thing. I really don't care who we're selling, except it's not Bruno. And these we know the players we don't want to sell, but I like. What okay? What happens if we can't sell McTominay and Aaron Wan Bissaka and the Casemiro's? What happens then? Does that mean we don't get any new players? Because listen, Ineos for me have to find a way to get the funds, okay? To get us a CDM and to get us a left fullback. I don't know where they're going to get the money. I don't understand. Like I don't know the dynamics, but they have to find a way to get these two positions. Because if Manchester United, for me personally, I feel if we go into next season without a left fullback. And without a CDM, yeah, let's just call the the season. Let's just call it quits because it's gonna be a disaster of the season. I mean, we're already dealing with four injuries, so it's absolutely crazy. So yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, those are Manchester United updates. There's not really so much to talk about before the Premier League opens, but we are heading there. We are almost there. We're in the month of August. We're a few days away until the Premier League season starts, and I absolutely cannot wait. So yeah, so that's all I had for you guys today. Do comment down in the comment section. What do you guys think is the cause of Manchester United players injury? Like, where is the problem? Because it's really worrying for me. So yeah, so that's all I had for you guys today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And do turn your notifications on, ladies and gentlemen, to know when next they post a video. And guys, we are almost there. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. So don't forget to share, like, and subscribe this video.